Hi and welcome. My name is Johnny Fragan. I'm from All Total Coaching. What I want to talk to you today is why you, yes you, don't have time. In the last four and a half years, we have produced here at All Total Coaching more than 150 videos how to better your life. Some have been more controversial, some specific advice, and some general advice. One of the biggest complaints most people have that I received emails is I don't have time. Throughout history and throughout everybody's life, we have the same 60 minutes and 60 seconds in a minute and 24 hours a day. It's up to the individual to make the best use of his time. Yet majority of people complain on two things or three things. I'm too tired, I don't have enough time, and I don't have enough money. What a lot of people don't understand is to achieve anything in life, you have to push yourself. I push myself daily running. It's very difficult. Sometimes I run in bad weather, early in the mornings, late at night. The majority of people are too lazy. Now, I'm not here to criticize you or anybody for that matter, but I want to go into your mind and think and tell you or advise you or whatever you like about you continuously saying, I don't have time. The more you say you don't have time, the more you're actually believing you don't have time and therefore you will not make time. Doesn't matter what your situation is, we still have the same amount of times. But it's up to you, the individual, to stop procrastinating. And like I said many, many times before, mind fucking yourself. How many times you said, wow, I'm gonna read this book, and you hardly started it? It's been documented that more than 70 to 80% of books that are bought in shops are actually for presents for other people. Yet those people that buy those books probably should read them themselves. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Because I bought my mother that is depressed for years, how to stop worrying and start living by Dale Carnegie. And before I gave it to her, I said to myself, who am I? Probably I need to read it too, and I did. One of the best things I can tell you today is self-education. Educating your mind and filling it up with fantastic things. Instead of watching who did who on Facebook and Twitter, etc, 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 and procrastinating and procrastinating and complaining, you don't get what you want because you don't have time. But I want to ask you today a serious question. How many hours you spend watching TV, or gossiping, or listening to bullshit, or switching from Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, etc., etc., yet you don't have time. But you're still gonna watch Chicago Housewives. That's a friggin' waste of time. The reason they call this pro TV, it's programming because they're programming you. Now, I'm not here to tell you not to watch TV at all, but cut back, cut back, and then you will have time. And like I said to a lot of people, when they want to get fit, doesn't matter what you want to achieve in life, you have to be, the most important thing is be disciplined. And being disciplined with time, it's paramount. But majority of you are too lazy. And if you don't have time, get up one hour later. But you're too lazy, the majority of you anyway. If you go to the video I did, is why 95% of people won't be successful. I explain in details why. Because you only talk. People that do things don't talk, they achieve. Now, a majority of you will watch this video and laugh at me or mock me, or by now already switched off, but I don't give a damn. I'm talking to you that are still here, that want or need some motivation. I'm here to motivate you. Took me a long time to get where I am, but I am here for you. I want to make you a better man or better woman. Please, stop mind fucking yourself. Stop procrastinating. A lot of people tell me they can't even read a book for a more minute because so many things come in their mind. I tell them, read a minute, the next time a minute and a half, then two, it's like a muscle that slowly but surely you exercise. 
The amount of people that wrote, wrote to me that they only read magazines is insane. If you don't educate yourself and take the most important thing that you have in your life is time and make use of it so you can be a better man or better woman. And I'm not here to tell you what to study or what to do with your time. Yes, recreation is important too. You need balance. So do I. I go for a run or watch football or soccer. Soccer. Because I love Arsenal. But the point is this. Make use of your time. Procrastinate a little bit. But study. Procrastinate a little bit. Achieve. Procrastinate a little bit. Run. Procrastinate a little bit. Go for a swim. Procrastinate. But read books. I promise you one thing. If you start exercising those mental things in your mind and you open your mind, you will become like the great, great, great philosopher that said thousands of years ago, I know that I don't know. One of the biggest philosophers of that time, Socrates, said, I know that I don't know. Yet today we have people that are not only uneducated, that are stupid and pathetic, and you haven't even finished the phrase, they say, I know, I know. We all know who I'm talking about. The point is this. You do have time. But if you say to yourself and to other people, I don't have time, I'm too tired, I don't have enough money, those are the things that will make you more and more and more lack of. The power of the subconscious mind states again and again, and read that book, what we focus on, Grows. You've heard this many, many times. But if you say you don't have money, you will not have money. If you say you don't have time, you won't have time. If you say I'm not fit, you will not be fit. If you say you don't have anything for that matter, you won't have it. I want you to change your mindset and say I have time. I have money. I have great relationships. I have great health. Whatever it is you want, change your mind so you can change your life. You have time. You will achieve if you make the most important decision in your life. One decision. Discipline. Thank you very much for all the people that helped me put this clip together. And thank you so much for hanging there and listening to us. You can look us up on www.alltotalcoaching.com or email me at john at sosdating.com. I can change your life. The question is, do you want to? Or you're going to keep watching Facebook, Twitter, or Chicago Housewives. Thank you very much for listening. As always, you know who I am. I'm your friend, Johnny Fragan. Speak soon.